and welcome everybody to Gigantic. Probably asking yourself, why the hell are there no uh, Lawbreaker episodes going up in between Tekken? Um, yeah, about that. Um, quick lowdown. The game, Wraith's got what they fucking deserved. Assassins are now back to closed beta shenanigans where... Their sidearm, Rome Rust, which is the shotgun dealt 280 fucking damage a charge, and can kind of outdo a lot more of the class. And this also includes the fact that arc blades can do a lot of damage when the sight is on the enemy. So, yeah, that's kind of being a bit of a buzzkill. And also, the uh, servers were a bit of a buzzkill as well, where it was taking up to five minutes for me to get a fucking game. And I thought they fixed a lot of that shit, but apparently not. So, I have been playing playing Gigantic in my spare time, because my buddy was like, Hey, play this game with me, and I'm like, alright, and we did a couple of times, and... This, this game makes me feel a lot better than, like, Paladins or some shit, because this game is really fun. And all the cast of characters, these characters are probably the best coat of paint on this uh, genre of game in a long ass time. Because I'm not calling it a MOBA, you can go fuck yourselves if you think that. The reason why I say that is because that's not a MOBA. A MOBA should not have objectives in there as well. Bloodline Champions and Blood Rite, or Battle Rite, those are MOBAs. Because it's an arena and you're fighting it. These are not. These constitute as fucking arenas, yes. However, there are objectives, and you have a goal at the end of the fucking game. That does not constitute a battle arena. So yeah. Anywho, uh, these characters, I, I adore them all. Mozu, Grizelma, Iceling, Sven, Tito, Paco, Imani, all these characters. They're all fucking great. Cheerful-ish to a certain extent, but all in all, like, great design, I feel. Um, I have two characters right now at the moment, uh, Xandor and, and Iceling, because I wanted to go hardcore into buying the 10,000 uh, heroes, because these all up here are 5,000, and then it's, oh, excuse me, the nine. Uh, right, right at Xenoba, that's the nine characters you have access to. But everyone else, right past Imani, all cast, it costs 10,000 uh, crowns, I guess we can call it. Except for Ramsey, who costs 13, because he's new. Um, Ramsey's pretty strong. The two characters that are actually the strongest are HK and Laura Knoss. Knoss, I don't know. It's a weird fucking name for me. I guess it is Knossus, but... Um, yeah. HK's really fucking strong. Also hilarious, because he remind, because this dude reminds me of Robuster from the Dragon Warrior series, and the a lot of the shenanigans in this game kind of get out of hand. There are only two assassins, Tito and Trip, who are really fucking dangerous. Trip is the more dangerous type, and then you have critters that you summon onto these power orb things, and they're all fucking adorable. All of them are adorable. <gasps> Excuse me, all of them are adorable except the Drakes because they're shit. And also this thing as well, which fucking blocks the uh, power circles. Oh, that's their fucking thing. And these things are hilariously fucking dangerous. If they have a, uh, a power orb under them when they're blocking. It's the only time they can ever fucking attack. But everyone else is great. And then one of the interesting mechanics to this game is the fact that your folk you have a f what they refer to as a focus pool. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I'm going to call it. And your focus pool is you have up to th three charges to use on your ultimate, which is your F ability. And they'll grow in strength, like something that costs six seconds for one will turn into eight seconds for three. Um, in order for you to power up said critters, you need focus. And you kind of have to figure out how to balance between those two. Then there's also a stamina gauge, which kind of gets me in trouble about 60% of the time. Mainly because, uh, 
jumping drain stamina. And it drains quite a bit. And then these two, this dragon fella and the griffin are duking it out for control and shit. And Serpentera over here kind of reminds me of fucking um, Jafar a little bit. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also the griffin shoots lasers out of her eyes. Paco's fucking adorable. As always. Here's a cheerful little whatever the fuck. I don't even know what the hell to call it. Eh, 3 right chance, like Paco. Paco's really my only thing. I mean, I take Iceling, but eh, I never get the chance to really play as Paco, and Paco's just fucking adorable. You want to hug that little furry fuck? Well, this is there to him. Uh, everyone's so fucking cheerful, too. Mozu fucking caught me off guard because I thought that was a fucking, uh, a mouse. No, it's a fucking female goblin, and I'm like, okay. It is fucking adorable, but. It's. <laughs> A lot of the backstories are weird on these people. They're just kind of here because it's like, eh, eh, why not? But Iceling's is the one that just, like, hurts the most because it's like, yeah, her father's dead and shit, and, like, the sword that she, ta uh, that she takes has her father's spirit in it, and her default costume is her father's jacket that she's wearing, and it's just like, you kind of read some of the other shit, too, and it's just like, uh, I want to protect you. But good lord, she's a little bit tough. But goddamn, she could be a pain in the ass. Spe depending on which build, too, because one of the funny things about. Actually, shit, I could have played that as well because we had Beckett and Char. Uh, there's a build called Char Grill on. I forget, some hero builder for, uh, for us. Uh, well, for... Uh, oh, fucking hell. Um, for Gigantic, and... The funny thing about some debuffs and buffs that you can get, they actually... Oh, shit. Hey, what do you think you're doing, eh? You think you're gonna be cute? Uh, I can't kill him, but whatever. It's fine. Um. Uh, a lot of the debuffs and whatnot, they actually kind of trigger between the two, hilariously enough, and the. Oh dear. Um. And between the two, like. Iceland can actually use the. You need to fucking stop. That was probably the biggest move in my game. Holy shit, let's get the hell out of here. Um, and... Uh, the health abilities that, you know, use shit like, oh, if you use fire, then you can use this ability and whatnot. Um, yeah, 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 Serpentera, shit up. Um, and some of that shit, like, can stack up to being used by... Um, uh, um, can be used up by other players or other heroes. So, a lot of the stuff that Iceling has uh, that Iceling can use can actually be fucking uh, triggered by other heroes. Hilariously enough, I uh, charge up. Damn, what a cotter. Her and the other crew are being a real pain in the ass at D. And because you died there. Bad news. Oh dear. Down below. Yeah, boy. Please don't hurt me. Ah. You better fucking summon your dad back to your thing. God damn it. Oh shit. Sniper. Ah. Go away. <laughs> Why 
like they fucking already wounded it? You're kidding me. Damn it. Oh yeah, you gonna do that? You gonna do that? Wait, where the fuck did you go? Ah. I did that from behind the waterfall somehow, and I have no idea how that fucking worked. Uh, yeah, crossbow. I'd like to point out how fucking cool that fucking just that throw from behind the waterfall worked out. Uh, here. Also, another cool thing for most of how this game works: um, a lot of shit is flat. Everything is like just flat for a certain degree. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, Paco is so fucking hilariously adorable. Oh no, you froze! Too bad! <laughs> to have our own wound. Actually... Back. I did it! I did it! Oh, dude. But I will be dead in a few seconds. Mm. I'm gonna get sniped, most likely. Boom, in the back of that. Uh, Spooboos. Nah. Uh, yeah, cool. I'll take that. And then, three times. That's a snow. One of the things that also sucks, too, is that you, in order for you to upgrade creators, you use your own pool. You can't use your friend's pool. So, the slight problem is that you can't fucking... Come on, die, please. Yay. Actually, you know what? If I was smart, I would have taken the fucking cold hit combo first. That actually would have helped me. Uh, Shard Girl, holy shit. The hell's up with this Aesthetic player? Holy shit. Um, getting out of here. I said that's a disconnect, mainly because I've never seen someone just like out of it like that. Uh, I have my DT training against. I can slowly. slowly spot them out. Oh, look at that. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, snowball is such like a hilarious skill to use. And it's also a lot of fun as well. There you are. Damn. I mean, I'm only just trying to distract. There's very little I can do. Run, you little man. Run. Run like your heart's content. I missed. And dead. Um, and... 
Yep, dead. Oh shit. That most likely is going to die. Wow, I really would like to use. Ah, damn it. Fucking. Yeah, trip is the war. I'm not gonna say cancerous because that technically does not fall true. The slight issue at hand is that you need to be able to have a bit of map awareness and also to. Uh, what's the right word? Um, have essentially like the right kind of build. It seems backwards to say for like an anti-trip build, but the problem comes down to more, more or less just problems. And funny thing is, is that I can deal with this crap right here. And bam. So if I can just... Oh boy. Actually, that may kill the uh, that thing if I can... If I can hope. Most likely not, because 20 bucks is the other one is rather smart. Uh, Redivision of health would be really good. But Flash Freeze, I think, is a lot smarter. Yeah, Icebreaker. Yay! Alright, time for hilariously Levolution! And I'm being serious too, when the fucking clash happens, it changes the whole fucking thing. Ta-da! So yes, this actually literally is Levolution, and it is hilarious to see. Fish ocean. Wait, tear gas? What the I just realized that, uh, the... Beckett on the enemy team took tear gas instead of cracked armor. Or whatever the hell the other thing is. Which is very strange because there's barely any one of us who can actually fucking heal. Even I can't, either. Because I Hey, I am not, uh... Ironically enough, not programmed for it. Later, if my fat ass can just fucking make it. I'm a big target, and I don't like being a big target. Got ya. Ow. Mm -hmm. uh. Eh, pain. Uh, uh, wow, they all, of, all of them were right there, and somehow the killing blow went to uh, Imani. The fuck is half my team doing now? As I just realized. Now, why is my efficient? Can't do anything about this because I just don't have the fucking. I can't say I can't, I don't have the patience for it, it's just that I do not have... Oh, fuck that, really? I'm going to win this fight, because... Yeah. Poor choice, but... Ugh, that is a kick in the teeth. That was... Three fucking, uh, focus. I bur I just burnt. I could have went to anything else on the playing field, and I thought if I had enough of it, or at least I had enough time, that I wouldn't have to fucking lose that. And lo and behold, that just happened. But I think as Paco, I can easily, easily, easily fucking just get this all back. Ow. 
have no idea. Someone tells me like right over here somewhere. I think she's long gone. She's not. Uh, if she's not showing up on the. Uh, Oh shit. Ah. Hm. I've been terrified. The city. Someone died. Yeah, actual like fucking. Uh. Can we do this? Right. Yeah, we can. <laughs> that was not my. I don't know. I felt like I did right. Really? So there are like these. I'm thinking these awards are supposed to be in jest because if you don't have anything well enough, uh, you get what they refer to as the best father. Well, that one for Ice Sling is hilarious. And then there is um, Man Graves, which I think is uh, Nightmare to Children, but I don't know what like they really are. They, I know they're supposed to be in jest because that's one in five for their ice sling. But then again, he really wasn't doing anything, so it was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm amazed that our bracket is not who did the more damage, but then again, fucking Charnock is really fucking powerful at doing that shit. So that was, uh, that was gigantic. Um,. I had a lot of fun with this game, and I feel like I will have a lot more fun with it. So long as the balancing goes right, I feel. There are strong characters, I will not deny that. Uh, there are some weak ones, to a lesser extent, but everyone has their place, so yeah. Um, remember to always stay alpha, always play games on the hardest difficulty, and I'll see you in the next episode of Gigantic. Say another.